in in uh, Mission Kashmir, of course, in '42. So I had a stepping stone. I think he's really grown. I mean, now he knows what to do with his eyes, with his voice. It's like he ducked this whole film in a certain kind of voice, and I never told him to do that. And when I was at Shepparton, I spent two hours separately just equalizing his voice. He will be surprised when he sees the film and hears him because his voice in the film is very different. Unlike Sanjay, who is real, based on his is almost like larger than life voice. Now, I think that Jackie's really grown up. I, I hope and pray that 10 years from now I can still direct him. I think he'll go, go through the roof because he's really growing as an actor. As a human being, he was nice then, he became nicer and he's, he's wonderful as a human. Like I said that my first criterion to work with anybody, any actor or technician is that he or she must should be a good human being because for three years we have to really halo each other. For instance, Mr. Schoff lost his temper just once. In the climax, he waited for three and a half to four days for his single shot. And what is really commendable that every day nine in the morning, he was in his trailer waiting till six in the evening with the makeup on. <coughs> It's only the fourth day when I start thought that I'll take the shot at nine in the morning and he was there at ten thirty and said, You are late, Jackie. He says, I am late. I waited four days for the bloody shot. Apart from that it was like I think he's really grown up as a, as a performer. It's, it's amazing. It's wonderful to see how an actor learns to control his eyes, his literally his eyelids, his face, his voice. It's uh, you know, there's a sequence in which Sanjay that just looks up. And that's one of my favorite moments. There's another favorite moment here. He sees uh, uh, the dead Neelima comes to life and says, I forgive you. And he's seeking forgiveness. That, well, you, when you see the film, you know what I mean. But he looks up and in his eyes, there was so much pain. And when, when he sees Neelima and the camera is on him, suddenly that pain in his eyes changes into hope and happiness. And you have to see it to believe it. Now, here is an actor who can actually control the the eyes, the the movement of the eyes. So that's that's wonderful to have the privilege of directing actors like that is, is wonderful. By all accounts, this film sounds like it's a very different film, Mission Kashmir. Uh, traditionally, you expect certain elements to be in Indian film. Have you taken that into account, and have you? Uh, made sure that these Indian elements, you know, the songs, the dance, and all the elements you'd expect, the dialogues, the drama, is in your film? Absolutely. See, the, the, there is this great uh, in, in my Bergman. He has given a couple of commandments to filmmakers that I take faith very seriously. His first commandment is, Thou shall entertain. And of course, the second one is, Thou shall not sell your soul while you entertain. And the third is, Make a film as treated as if it's, it's your last film. But the first commandment is very critical for me yes. because I think people who pay money go into the theatre, they want to be entertained. And if they get entertained through music, through songs, let them have it. Let them have a good time watching your movie. Let them not get bored. So and so that they're bored and they come out of the theatre and I have to stand there and say, that is what this movie means. I'm not that kind of filmmaker. I really would like people to have a good time watch this movie. But while they're watching it, while they're being entertained, it would be very nice if they pick up, like I said, a bit of Kashmiriya and take it back home. That would be
it's not a Bollywood film, it's an English film. Uh, it uses Bollywood as, you know, it's source material. That's great, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, good evening sir, how are you today? Okay. Uh, what brings you here tonight? What, why are you here tonight? I have written the dialogue for this film, Mission so Kashmir. Uh, that's what brings me tonight, the premiere here. And as you know, this is the first Indian film to be premiered this way, to be released by an international company and to be premiered in London and in New York tomorrow. And it's a great day for all of us. I'm very happy for you. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody and uh, happy viewing, happy Diwali. What I shall do, uh, I wanted you to meet the crew that's here from India, all of them. All 30 to 40 people are here. But I'd rather that you see the film till at least half the time. And then I'll introduce you the crew and you shall know that how each and every one of them has contributed to the making of this movie with complete commitment and total dedication. Uh, shooting in Kashmir for 30 days, 222 people risked their lives for, uh, for a month. And some of them are here today. We will welcome them at, at the interval point. Till then, happy viewing. Thank you.